and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mojisala Bazaye and you're watching Moji in Touch. So today I have a quick brow tutorial to share with you. So if you're interested in seeing what my brow tutorial is like, please keep on watching. So following my natural brow shape, I like to brush my brow in place, upward and when I reach the edge of the brow, I like to brush it down, starting from the inner corner, brush it off, and down. So using very sharp pencil, I'm going to start creating an outline using my hand to support my brow like that. From the inner corner of the eye, which is here, like that, and I'm going to draw like an outline for my brow. So this is my arch of the brow is, and I'm going to bring it down from there following my natural shape. So ideally, the brow should start from the inner corner of the eye, and this is the arch of the brow, and that is the outer part of the brow. So I have my outline done from for the bottom half. So I'm going to repeat the same step for the top half of my brow, not paying so much attention to the start of the brow, so we can have natural looking brow. So I'm going to draw the same outline following the natural shape of my brow, creating the outline, and that is the arch of my brow. So I'm going to join both lines together and bring it all the way down. So we have the outline done already, the bottom half and the top half. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brow with my brow pencil using the short strokes. Continue filling your brow in. Because this brow pencil matches my natural brow color, I don't need to fill it in with any kind of powder. But if you like, you can go ahead and grab your angle brush and fill in with powder. I'm happy enough because that pencil matches my natural brow perfectly. So I'm going to brush my brow in place to avoid any kind of ashness. I'm going to blend that pencil well into my skin. So starting from the inner corner, I'm going to brush that part up to give it a natural looking brow. And I'm going to gently brush the remaining backwards following my natural shape like that so i have the product all blended in i'm very happy with the results so i'm going to grab my um detailer brush so i have my concealer and i'm going to start tracing that outline just to keep it really neat and well defined so i'm going to trace that outline from the inner corner also following that natural shape Still using my fingers to support the brow to get a natural brow arch. So I'm going to bring that shape down like that. So that is what it looks like. If you need more concealer, you can go ahead and grab more concealer. So I'm going to trace that again in case you missed it from the inner corner. Follow the, follow the natural brow shape and bring it all the way down. So look at how clean, how neat the bottom half is. And I'm going to try and repeat the same step for the top half of my brow. I always recommend to use the concealer that matches your skin tone for the top half. Well, so it's not looking obvious that you have some concealer on the top half of your brow. That won't really look nice. So. I'm going to trace that and follow the natural outline we've created and bring it all the way down. So I'm happy enough with the result. We have the start of the brow looking very natural and we have the arch of the brow drawn and that's the end of the brow. So I'm going to grab a blending brush to br blend the concealer into my skin, especially the top half one ensure to blend that in well so if you're not sure you can use your finger to blend that concealer well so i have all the concealer blended in and i'm happy so i'm going to grab my spoolie one more time and brush everything in place stroking the front half 
upward like that and the other backward following the natural outline we've created up so that is what my natural brow looks like I go ahead and repeat the first step for my right brow and finish the rest of my eye makeup so I have the rest of my face done so to get the perfect brow I have a few things to show you from what you saw in the demo I used an eyebrow pencil that matches my brow perfectly so this is a Remo London one for the sake of this tutorial I decided to buy a new one it matches my natural brow perfectly so the second thing you need is a concealer the concealer looks like this is this is my concealer in Mary Kay bronze number no. two and this one is one shade lighter than me I like to use this one just to highlight underneath my brow like I did in the demo and the top thing you need is a spoolie you need a spoolie which looks like this this brow pencil has its own spoolie so you don't have to buy a new thing and if you can find a pencil with spoolie already you might want to grab your old mascara that you don't use anymore this is an old mascara I just wanted to show you so you wash the wand in warm soapy water to remove all the mascara on it and you can use this one to actually brush your brow in place you don't have to buy a new thing it's called improvision and if you need some brow pencil this is one of my own um, palette and this one is has some shimmer on it I wouldn't recommend that one this one is very matte ideally nobody should have glittery brows so don't use any brow powder with shimmer or eyeshadow powder with shimmer so this is my own pencil that I love to use It's a brand called Eyelore and I also use um, a Davis one I don't know if you can find that in Europe and America for, but for people who live in Nigeria it retails for 15 naira and it's called Davis I'm going to put all the details in the description box for you to everything that I have used today so thumbs up this video if you like visit me on my Facebook page I'm at Muji in town now follow me on Twitter I am at Muji in also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing I love you all so much for your love and support it means so much to me and I will speak to you soon on my next video bye bye